So in this video, we're going to talk about ideal gas law. An ideal gas law describes the relationships between pressure, volume, temperature, and moles for gases that act ideally. Okay. And so the equation for this is PV equals NRT, where P is pressure. All right. Um, and pressure could either be an ATM. Um, it could be millimeter HG. It could be tor. All right. It's just, you just kind of have to watch the units for this one. Volume, which is in liters moles. So the amount of atoms or amount of any gas, um, T temperature. All right. And this temperature has to be in Kelvin. And then lastly, we have R. R is called the gas constant. Okay. Now the gas constant, um, depending on the unit of pressure depends on what the gas constant is. So like, for example, the gas constant can be 0 0.0821. And the units for this is liters atmosphere per mole Kelvin. Now you will use this um, specifically if your pressure um, is in atmosphere. Okay. That's when you will use this particular number here. Um, Another gas constant could be 62.4 liters millimeter mercury per mole Kelvin. Now you'll use this one particularly when your units for gas, I mean, your, your units for pressure is millimeter mercury. All right. And so, um, which gas constant you use, it really depends on the unit of pressure of the gas. Now, there are plenty. I mean, this is not the only two that's out there. I mean, you could kind of Google gas constant. You'll find quite a few depending on the units of pressure. So if your pressure was like PSI, you have a different number. If your pressure was in um, Tor, you have a different number. If your pressure was in um, Pascals, it'll be a different number. Okay. And so it's just all about um, just watching out and paying attention to the units of pressure so that you know which are constant to use. Okay. Now let's go ahead and just kind of jump into an example so you can see exactly how we use this equation. So let's look at this question. How many moles of air are in lungs of an average human with a total lung capacity of 3.8 liters? Assume that the person is at one ATM pressure and has a normal body temperature of 37 degrees Celsius. All right. So let's, let's, highlight and to see what we have. So, um, this is how many moles so we're looking for moles. All right. So we know we're looking for N, um, are in the lungs of an average human with a lung capacity of 3.8 liters. So that's another thing that we know, 3.8 liters and assume that the person is at one ATM of pressure. All right. And then they have a, a, a body temperature of 37 degrees Celsius. Okay, so remember, our equation here in this case is PV equals NRT. Okay, um, and so let's just kind of um, look at what what we have. Kind of pull it out so that way it's a little bit easier. So I see that my pressure is three point eight liters. All right. Oh, actually, that's not my pressure. That's my volume. Sorry, three point eight liters. My pressure is 1.0 ATM. All right. They give us a temperature in it's 37 degrees Celsius, but we got to change this to Kelvin. Okay. So we're going to add 273 to this. And then it turns out to be about 310 Kelvin. All right. Um, because of we know what the pressure is or what unit the pressure is. We know what's the um, gas constant in this case. And then the gas constant we're going to use is 0 0.0821 um, liters ATM per mole Kelvin. All right. And then finally, we're looking for moles. Okay. So that's what we're looking for. All right, so this is our equation here. Typically, I'm the one who likes to rearrange my equations first before I plug in the numbers. All right, so since 
this is my equation and I'm solving for n I'm gonna divide out r and t to get rid of r and t and place and divide r and t on both sides of the equation so that way my n is equal to pv over rt now I'm gonna plug in my numbers so n is equal to uh, my pressure which is 1.0 atm times the volume which is 3.8 liters divided by my r is 0 0.0821 with that liters atm over moles kelvin and then last my temperature is 310 kelvin okay and you know for those who like to see units cross out this is possible all right and so i see liters here liters here that cross out um atmospheres here atmosphere cross out kelvin that's a denominator of the denominator which kelvin here is just a denominator so that works out so all you're left with is um this mo here which works out well okay great so now when you plug this into the calculator all right let's kind of blow this up here when we plug this up in the calculator we got one times 3.8 divided by 0 0.821 point zero eight two one times 310 all right you plug this in correctly we get 0 0.15 moles of air all right so that's how you will solve this one all right so here's another example Methane gas is sold in steel cylinders with a volume of 43.8 liters containing 5.54 kilograms. What is the pressure in atmospheres inside the cylinder at a temperature of 20.0 degrees Celsius? All right. So, and I tell you that the molar mass of methane is 16.0 grams per mole. All right. And so this is a ideal gas question. So PV equals NRT. All right, and so now let's go ahead and try to highlight to see what we got. So I tell you that we see we have the volume here. So we got V, great. Um, I tell you the temperature, kind of, right? We just have to convert this to Kelvin. Uh, we know what R is, all right? Um, because we're looking for atmosphere, so we could get the R in atmospheres, all right? Um, and they kind of tell you the moles. Like kind of, right? Indirectly. They tell you the mass and you know the molar mass. So we use the mass and the molar mass. We could figure out our moles here. And then at the very end, we could definitely figure out what is the pressure here. And that's what we're that's what we're looking for. Okay. And so let's go ahead and convert what we need to convert. Um so as I said, we got volume. All right, we got volume, which is 43.8 liters. Perfect. Um, and then temperature is 20.0 degrees Celsius. If we add 273 to this, then it's 293 um, Kelvin. Okay. Um, and then we have, well, as we said, we're looking for pressure. All right, we know where R is, right? R in this case is 0 0.0821 um, liters atmosphere over mole Kelvin. All right, and then we need to figure out what our moles are. All right, and so what does it tell you? It tells you that we have 5.54 kilograms. All right, and to convert to uh, uh, moles, we need this in grams. All right, so 5.54 kilograms, it's 5540 grams of methane. All right, and so we know that. So what we could do is 5540 grams of methane. We use the molar mass, 16.0 grams of methane over one mole of methane. I'm gonna kind of blow this up, so. That way we can see what I'm doing. Of uh, methane is equal to, so it's 5,540 divided by 16. We have 346 moles of methane. All right, so this is our moles number here, 346. All right, so let's go back here. 
So we have 346 moles of CH4. All right, so now we got our volume, temperature, we're solving for pressure. We got R and we got moles. All right, so PV equals NRT. As I said, I'm the one who likes to rearrange the equations first before I plug in my numbers. So if I divide out V, I could divide V on both sides. So my equation is P equals NRT over V. All right, and then I'm gonna plug my numbers accordingly. All right, so and I'm blowing this up. So N, as I said, is 346 moles. R, 0 0.0821 liter ATM mole Kelvin. All right. T is 293 Kelvin divided by V, which is 43.8 liters. All right, so everything should cancel out accordingly. Moles here, moles on the bottom as a denominator there. Kelvin, Kelvin, liters, liters. So all I'm left is um, ATM, which is perfect. All right, because we were looking for um, pressure anyways. All right, so 346 times 0 0.0821 times 293 divided by 43.8. You plug this in the calculator and hopefully do it correctly. You get 190 ATM. And so that's your answer for this case. So this is how we use the ideal gas law PV equals NRT.